Okay, so welcome back. In this video, I will be teaching you how to get an input from the user. So in our previous video, we have talked about how to output a string to the screen, right? So let's do that and let's ask for a string. So let's say create a variable called prompt and let's create it as bb. Then let's say input a string here, okay? And end it in a null string. So we just push the prompt, push offset prompt, then call std out, right? And so in save project, console build all, no problems. Let's run our code. So we do test.exe, and you see that there is an input a string here, okay? So now we ask for the input itself. So let's create a variable called string and let's create it as a db again. And let's say it is 50, right? So we duplicate that 50. So this will be the variable that the input will be stored. So to ask for the input, we just push the number of bytes here. So 50, push 50 then push offset the string then let's call std pin okay so now we can console build all no problems in our code let's run test.exe again so now we can type here oh hello so as you can see if i hit enter it does nothing because you didn't tell it to do anything in the string so for us to see whether we are correct, let's create another prompt. Let's say prompt to db. Then let's say it is your string was. And for us to see our input, we can just push offset the prompt to and call std out. Then let's push the offset of the string. So this will be our input. Then call std out again. Okay. So what this does is prints your string was and then our string that we inputted in this. So save project, console build all. No problems in the code. Let's run it again. So input a string. So let's say jlearnph. So you will see that your string was jlearnph. So we know that our code was executed successfully. Okay. So again, for you to get an input from the user, create a variable and then give it how many characters you want it to be. Push that number of characters and then push offset that variable, then call std in. Okay. So I hope to see you again next time.